Hikers Furniture Art. I'm Hiker and I am working on a sideboard makeover. At the moment I'm talking to myself because I have done the whites, the yellows and reds and oranges on both doors of the siding board, uh, of the sideboard. And now I would like to add some paper, some stencils, some other designs. And on top of the, of the door, I, my, my imagination or my vision is to have kind of a black line, but not a solid black line. I want it like distressed. So the yellows and the oranges that I did underneath are coming through. And I quite like that decoupage paper as well. So I think I am going to put on the decoupage paper. I'm going to seal it, let it dry thoroughly, and uh, then put the black over it and just dry brush over this. And I want this to be seen. Not just sure yet how I'm going to do this. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going with the flow. I trust the process usually and uh, I can always correct or do something different over it. Let's see how this goes. I'm using Dixiebel's clear coat satin. I'm using a, a soft, a soft artist brush. And as this is a very thin decoupage paper, I am not bothering to, well, maybe yes, I will, just a tiny bit. I thought I wouldn't bother putting on some varnish underneath, but might be better. So to make sure that it's going to stick. Just put enough so the paper is soaked. I'm welcoming wrinkles if there are any, as this is kind of a canvas board. I did quite a bit of weathered quite a bit of weather finish and it doesn't matter if there is some wrinkles let's see I usually don't like straight lines and I forgot. I hope you can see something. Yes. I forgot to take the straight line off here. It doesn't matter on the top because we're not going to see it once the doors are closed. So I'm just scraping the edges off with my fingernail. No, I don't want this. Okay. I quite like this. I'm not even sure if I should put black on top. <laughs> Just do some more. As this is on furniture, I really want this to stick. And I don't want any air bubbles. So I'm really going to soak the paper. That should be enough. You could use any top coat or Mod Podge, anything that you feel comfortable with. This has to dry now and I'm going to continue on working on the doors meanwhile. 
and I'd be back afterwards. I've started putting some black now and I think it gives a real canvas look. It's coming together, not yet there for sure. So as I have done these lines on the side, I will um, take some more black. I'm using caviar from Dixiebel. I'm going to use my little spatula and I'm going to apply it in different areas just to link everything together. If it's too much, like, hmm. in fact, I quite like it. I'm going to leave it. But um, if it's too much, it just spreads. Or you can always go over it. I'm going to spritz it anyway. Some water and take some off again. So it's... So it's a little bit more subtle. I like doing edges like this. On my pieces, it kind of ties things together like I did with the red here. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use some black. Going to continue working on my piece and I'll be back when I change something. I've got this piece here. It comes from from this one. I think it's a joint tape they call it. It's a bit sticky and I'm going to create some, some um, design on here and I'm going to just use my stencil brush, dip it in a bit of the black Take off and then just dab in different directions. In some directions there's a lot, in other directions there's nothing. And it gives you quite a nice, quite a nice pattern in fact. So I'm going to apply this and I don't know where exactly, so it might take a little, a little while. I might even put in between here. Maybe very subtle. Yep, I like that. Maybe one here as well. I use a lot or a little of paint. And it gives you quite a nice and subtle design. Oh, I like that. Gives kind of the oomph effect. I'm going to continue using this and I'll be back. I cut out some more decoupage paper in, that I had in my stash. And I never really knew where to put this one, but I quite like the sayings. So I'm about to put together, if you can see something, yes, I think so, yes. Um, I might put this up here and I have the other one that I would put up here as well. I have some other paper that I really like, the colours, and most probably I am going to put them down at the bottom here. And integrate it from there and I thought that if I paint this black then I will try and put some Vaseline on here I don't know how you call it in English there's another word for it but it's Vaseline and I'm going to protect the paper with the Vaseline 
and uh, when I put the paint over it and I'm going to put a bit everywhere when I'm going to put the paint over it it's it's like a resistant so um, I can just take it off afterwards I hope it works I have no idea as I said I'm going with the flow I am trying things out I I've never done something like this for a piece of furniture you know really have a mixed media canvas so I just try and if I don't like frankly okay I'll go over it again until I like it so let me do this let me do my decoupage and um, I'll see what we are going to do afterwards I'm back I applied Vaseline on here, so I decoupaged this piece. I applied Vaseline and um, I'm going to try out if it works what I have in mind. So I will go over it with the black paint as the um, Vaseline is resistant. I should be able, and I really hope it works, <laughs> I should be able to take a piece of paper or whatever and um, take it off. And I might just do this. Let's see. I have no idea if this is working. That doesn't look good, but with my baby wipes, it's not too bad. So there are the, uh, the papers, they are coming through. I just want to do bit of a more black here and in the back and just take away take off in places okay doesn't look bad. I quite like it. Let me take off a bit more here. I think it looks quite good. I don't know if you can see anything. I will definitely want to scrape on some black here. But maybe it's better that I wait until all this is dry. So I can work with this much better. Okay. Let me do the other side now because I have the same thing here. I will do the same thing. I put Vaseline on the paper and a bit on the uh, on on the underneath on the base, and I will do exactly the same thing. Here I am, finished the, the paint part on, on my two doors. 
and also my distress decoupage mixed media whatever i did here um just have a look this is what it looks like i am quite happy with it not quite i am happy with it yes the other part again with the papers and distressing and taking off the paint again and also showing you my decoupage paper at the bottom of the of the page i uh, noticed that i was out of scope when i uh, applied paint around it to integrate it so it really is just about taking you know taking your your scraper your paint scraper take your paint just as you've seen me doing it before and just apply in random places until you're happy i've decided to put some words on here that was my vision from the beginning to put a quote or or something like something similar or just words and um, this is what i've come up with i am going to do i can't do ray stenciling i would love to do ray stenciling but i can't do ray stenciling because my pieces have to glide in front of each other behind each other so i'm going to do some stamping with my stamps and i came up with this so there's going to be a hay here and there is going to be what's up on the other side obviously this h i don't have two so what's up is going to be on this side hey what's up i like the idea it's a bit of a funky thing a fun thing so um i reflected a little while and i said no this is what i want and i'm going to do and apply my stamps now i'm about to think as i want this piece to be funky and i have this hay here i might just turn around the y or maybe put it like this i'm really not sure i have to think about it and take a decision <laughs> Looks very neat like this, but this might be too funky. There's already so much going on. No, I think I'm going to go with the hay, with the normal hay. Let's do that. Yep. Okay, now the placement. Do I want it up here? To be it a bit different from the other side, not in the same, just not the same line. Do I want it here? I've got quite a bit going on down here with my um, decoupage here. Shall I put it in the middle? Or shall I put it down here? No, I don't like it down here. So the question is up here or um, a bit further down in the middle. <laughs> okay. I think it's going to be here. I've decided to take Midnight Sky from Dixiebel. I like it. It's not a very dark black. It's, I don't know, it's kind of a very, very dark grey. And I really like that. And I am, this is too big, I'm going to put some on a plate. Like this. And I'm going to use a roller, a foam roller. Let me 
just prepare a baby wipe just in case. Oops, I need to clean. Okay, I've prepared my word. I'm just going to apply this with the roller. I like these stamps because they are already kind of um, distressed. Okay, let me just clean this. So when I press, I don't get the, all the rest on my. I think I need some more, just a tiny bit. Make sure there's enough on the stamps. Okay. And now I am going to just put my handle so I know where I am. I'm just going to put it down. About here. Yep, and press it. Once you put your stamps down, do not shift or move them. Hold your piece in one place. And these are IOD stamps, by the way. I can't remember the name though. Let's see. Wow, that looks cool. But you see what happened? I put some black here. So quickly, quickly, quickly. Take this off. Okay. Yep, I like that. I'm going to clean my stamps quickly before the paint dries on them. I'm just taking a baby wipe and just wiping this down. Okay, I will now prepare the other side for the word what's up. Again, I put my word what on this sheet. I limited um, the space so I know where I want, I want it to be. Just turning it around and again I'm going to take my roller and roll over the letters. Oops, I think I took it the wrong way. Yes, I did. So this is what you should not do. I took it the wrong way. So if I was going to put this down now, I would have the whole shape here and not the shape of the W that's here. This is what you shouldn't do. So be aware of these things. I'm going to correct this and I'm going to see I have the A with the same problem. Okay, so I'm going to do this and I'll be back. I'm back, corrected my mistake. Just make sure that all the flat side is on the sheet of plastic so when you put the paint on and you turn it around you ha really have all the all the piece all the word so let's do this again I'm really glad i noticed it had happened to me that i didn't notice and it was just just a big mess This. Okay. I'm listening to music, so I just hope that Facebook or whichever platform is not going to cut me off because I'm listening to that music. Hope it's not loud. I'm having problems with these things. Even though I use music when I do my films, I use music 
from my computer the Mac which is included but Facebook doesn't like it so they mute the videos for me and I am not happy about that I'm not really good in editing so okay oops there is a bit missing here good just have it nicely covered and now I am going to try this putting it in my marks that I have done before or on my marks once it's down it's down don't move it again just pushing down slightly bit of pressure don't have to push really hard Okay, let's have a look. Yes, that looks nice. That looks great. Clean my letters. Before, afterwards I'm going to put them in. I'm going to clean them with some Dawn cleaner and warm soap water. And I'm going to prepare the rest. Last words coming up. I did this again with some tape so I know where I want it. This down here at the same time. Just hope it's going to work. Let's see, just clean it slightly. In the middle. Okay. And I'm going to turn it. And okay, up, don't shift. Just if I did this right, I've got this handle here. to do one of those little signs by hand not sure if I want to do a question mark I'll see I'm going to let this dry clean my stamps and what's interesting let me see you see where the design is that I did in the very beginning even the stamp is reflecting it it's still in the stamp here because it's high points and it's not flat so this is what it looks like. Oh. Yep. Okay, I'm going to clean and I'll be back. I did an apostrophe here, just freehand, and I did the same thing for a question mark. So I took piece of chalk first because if it's not good you can just you know delete it again and uh, then I went over it with a crayon a water soluble crayon um, pastel oil pastel in fact but it's water soluble and I am just going over this piece now I just want to do the border because I think otherwise it will be too heavy on the piece. 
these crayons are really good for this kind of thing. Do I like it? I would have to see the two doors near each other and see if I like it. And if I don't like it, well, then I'm going to go over it with colour again. Yes. So, let's see. Just adding a bit more design. To this question mark. It was just a bit blah. But I didn't bother to get the caviar out as as from what I did on the piece. I'm just using the midnight sky that I used for the stamping. I'm also going a bit outside. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, let me get a piece of paper just to cover this because I don't want it everywhere. Yes, okay, that's cool. I like it like that. I think I'm not going to do a lot more. Maybe on the apostrophe here. Do the same thing. Let's see. good perfect okay that's it for the doors and here's the reveal of the two doors that are now finished it does look much lighter on the video than in reality there is more of orange and yellow hue, so I hope I will be able to catch the real colors once I stage this piece. But at the moment, I still have to do the body of the sideboard. These are just the doors, and I'm going to start doing that. So stay tuned and watch me doing the other things on the sideboard. Bye, see you.